Hey YouTube, Sexy Bogus here for another Destiny video. This one will be short and sweet. I will show you the best way in my opinion to get exotic engrams while getting glimmers and upgrading your weapons and armor. Sounds good, eh? As you can see here, I'm in the Scourge of Winter story mission on Venus and I'm about to enter Drax's room. When you start doing this, the first thing you want to do is to use a 3 of coin. Right after, use one of your Ether Seed to get glimmers from killing fallens. Other seeds will also be useful for something else. It creates a 10 minutes countdown, right? On your character's screen to tell you when the effect will be over. But at the same time, from what I've read on the web, since the nerf, the three of coins seems to be doing better when using them with 10 minutes between each use. It's not confirmed by Bungie or anything, but that's what people are saying. And from my experience, it seems to be working well doing that. Better than just using one every minute, every time you kill Draxis, for example. So there you go. Use a 3 of coin every time your Ether Seed countdown will be over. And pop another Ether Seed right after so you'll get a countdown again and glimmers. You need to kill Draxis like the old exotic farming method we probably all know by now. Which is to get his health low and use your grenade or your rocket launcher to explode yourself next to him. So both of you will die. You don't need to press start to check on your character screen to see if the countdown is almost over. When you won't see any more glimmers when killing fallens, well that means the countdown is over. For the armors and weapons upgrade part, well killing enemies gives you armor and weapon XP, so just the fact to kill something will help you slowly unlock the perks on your gear. So again, follow these steps. 1. Pop a 3 of coin. 2. Use a Ether Seed right after to get glimmers from all your kills in there. And you'll also get a timer to know when you've been doing this for 10 minutes. 3. Clear the room, get Drax's health low. Go next to him and explode yourself using a rocket launcher or your grenades. By the way, make sure to use grenades that cause high damage to you when you're in the explosion. Or else you will kill Drax's but not yourself. 4. Repeat step 3 until the Ether Seed effect countdown is over, then restart from step 1. Even if you reach 25,000 glimmers, getting house banners is always a good thing, because you can store them in your vault and use them when you need glimmers eventually. That's it for me guys, again I'm Sexy Bogus. thanks a lot for watching, I think this guide is pretty simple and clear, you won't get exotics faster, but at least you're not standing still waiting for 10 minutes to pass. Also, doing this will give you other seeds and glimmers from kills and house banners. You can buy plenty of heavy sand assist with these from Varix on the reef. If you want to learn more about that, click on the link in the description box below to watch my video about it. Heavy sand assists are always useful, and they can be turned into faction reputation. If you like my content, that would be awesome if you leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you feel awesome today. Thanks again and have a great day.